Hello, and in this tutorial we'll be making this 3D layered text in Blender. Yes, this is a Blender tutorial, not a GIMP one, the first on my channel. Um, there won't be many of these on my channel. Um, it's because I'm not very good at it. I've just figured this out and it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you. And you can combine this into GIMP and um, do what you like with it. And some debris. Is, I don't know, you can look up some Cinema 4Ds with, with it. And who knows what you can do with it. Um, yeah, so there won't be many of these appearing on my channel. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, open up Blender. Any Blender should have all this. Now, some rules of thumb. I'm not going to be instructing you how to use Blender. I'm just going to do. So, first of all, delete all this. Delete all the starting stuff by pressing right-click. So, they're highlighted and press X. All of it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, add text. So, we want to go add text. Now we've got it here. Now to move it just to the basis, just to the um, learners of Blender, move it using these nodes, red sideways, green forward and back, and blue up and down. Now to make it, to make it um, appear like standing up, we want to click R, X, and then type 90. Oh, sorry. R, X, 19, I press S, whoopsie. Excellent, and before we continue, we want to click on the little camera icon here and change your resolution to 1280 and 720, and then put it on 100%. Um, yes, 100%. Okay, next, before we start, we just want to have our text here and press tab to open up the text editor make sure the text is highlighted and type what you like I'm going to type in layer sorry okay now to make it 3d we want to go to the font uh, sorry the um, little F here for I don't know text probably and uh, under geometry, set the extrude on 0 0.25. Cool, and the resolution on 6. Around that. And to change the font, you want to click on this little load a new font from file icon, go to user, share. Oh, this is just for my account, I don't know. Go to your fonts file and find a font. The fonts that look good are Fortnite, Dodger, and Bebas. I will leave a link in the description to all three of those. I'll use Dodger for this one. And set the size on 1.5. There we go. Cool, we have our simple 3D text here. And you want to just go Control C, Control V to copy that, or Command C, Command V on a Macintosh computer or operating system. Cool. So go on your first text layer and go to this little circle icon called Material, then click New. Now we want to change the diffuse color to a tealish color or turquoise color, whatever you call it, and ramp up the intensity to 1 and keep the specular on white and intensity on 1 for the specular and now on the second text we want to go new on the same material icon and white is the colour we will be using on both there we go on both diffuse and specular intensity on one and both white so cool now you want
want to layer it. So go Control C, Control V, or say Command C, Control Command V from Mac. And um, just layer it like this. And if you don't know how to move around in Blender like that, you just need to hold down left and right mouse button and move with the trackpad. Or if you're using a mouse with a third button, just click that and move the mouse. Okay, cool. So. It's all pretty lined up and everything. So, with this image, I used two lights. I go add lamp point. And I move my point lamp up and in the center of my text, like that. So it's on top, so it's giving a direct light down. Cool. So, and I go add lamp point again, and just move that in front. In front of, what I'm saying? in front of your not into it in front there we go cool so we have our layered text with light sources so now we need to add the camera to take obviously the picture as I imagine it so I click add camera and of course it pulls down there and appears there so drag it up, drag it in front of your text like that, and click R X 90. So it rotates it on the X axis 90 degrees. Now, to view what your camera sees, you go to View Camera. And I think I like what my camera sees. Okay, now you can render it like this if you don't want any background like if you don't want a different background it comes out in a deep grey which you can cut out in GIMP using the fuzzy brush tool fuzzy tool, whatever, uh, magic wand tool, that's it um, but I like having the background as was shown in the preview so I go add mesh plane and we have our plane now click S9 on it, and we just made a plane here. Now I'm going to go to the materials again on the plane, selected, and click new, and I'm going to set the material on a deep grey like that. Now I'm going to control C. Control V, Command on Mac, and move this one back and click RX90. Cool, so let's go to View Camera and see what our camera sees. I like that, that looks good. And to wrap it up, click on this little camera icon and click Render. Now, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, will be the duration of time it takes to render. And if you don't like the render that it's doing, you can press escape before it finishes. And I'm just going to move my camera back so it has a nice, better nice. Click render again, see if it looks as good. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Um, yeah, I like it. So, um... And then press F3, save it to wherever you like. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And yeah, it's nice. Um, if you'd like, as I said before, there's not many Blender tutorials going to appear on my channel. Um, this is one of a few. 
I'm still learning, so that looks good. That's good, sorry. And I'll catch you next time for another great tutorial. So I can't say geek tutorial, because I've got a blender tutorial uploading. So that'll be it, bye.